Look at that little dog. Look at him. He's just looking live right now. long wait to get over here we waited about two hours to actually get on a bus to take you over here we chose not to camp and we have pretty good reasons for that as you guys can see it came a monsoon here and it is really bad lots of mud a lot of people have been stuck here a lot of people have been pulled out so it's pretty rough um, dried up a little bit but not entirely i mean by no means would i want to camp out here but uh you know if it uh the weather would have held up had been a lot better, but not too bad. So we're gonna go check out some rigs, see what's going on. This is pretty neat setup here. Look at that, they got a shower on there and everything. That is pretty cool. Unimog. Oh my gosh. Drive the globe. Look at this. Look at this. That is so crazy. Overland Adventures. That is insane. Look at the trailer it's pulling. I totally missed this. <laughs> Look at that Overland trailer. Wow. Nice awning, little cab. That's like somebody's house right there. Okay, like these dudes got more in that than I got in my house. Like that's that's awesome. <laughs> really nice tent. Nice setup right here, Rubicon. And they're pulling a, some form of X Venture or something. I don't know what that is, but good looking trailer. Whoa. Whoa. I, I, I don't even know what to say. This thing is crazy, guys. Like Earth Roamers, I guess is what some of these are. I don't really know. That is awesome. Really nice, wow. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, wow. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. So, we're only in the showcase and it's already this awesome. So, I mean, I can't wait to see, you know, we're hopefully gonna get to meet uh, Overland or Expedition Overland, uh, Overland Bound, Lifestyle Overland. And I think there's a few more, but I really wanna get to meet these people today. So hopefully we'll get the chance to meet Clay um, and the rest of them because we followed them and that's kind of who inspired us to get out and start doing stuff was uh, Expedition Overland. So we're gonna see what they're into today. There's a lot of motorcycles, ground tents, a lot more of that than I thought there'd be. Wow, look how much more is still in. <laughs> You can lose a boot right here. Wow, look at this. Oh, really nice, look at this. Yeah. That's pretty cool how it just lifts up like that. Oh, yeah. See, that's kind of a hard shell. 
takes about a minute. Thank you. It takes about a minute to take it down. Wow. That's really neat. A lot of camper trailers. Oh look, here's the X Venture X Venture trailers. These are really neat. This is what we've been looking into, guys. This is one of these X Venture trailers. That is really nice. Dual battery setup. That's super cool. Oh, that is really nice. It's the R2. Oh yeah. Dude. Dude, this is the worst mud I've ever seen. Pretty nice little setup. I like the fridge. Yeah, I saw her. he did this the other day on Instagram, putting all that on there. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really neat. Go check this out. As you guys know, we've been eyeballing these things hardcore uh, for quite some time. Just haven't pulled the trigger on buying one yet. I don't know. They're still kind of overpriced. I feel like. I mean, it's a lot of money for a truck. Forty grand. I got eight in mine. Big difference. Big difference. Man, this is so nice. tent and everything. They got the lights in the front bumper. It's got a place for a winch. That is really nice. Global Expedition Vehicles. Wow. Wow. Look at this. TRD Pro. Super nice. It's got an icon. Bold over land. Patriot Campers is here. That's really cool. See, this is what you need on the Jeep right here. Look at that. This is really nice. I like that this is a hard top, you know, like a shell. This is giving me ideas for another build. That's what this is doing. <laughs> I mean, this this could be you. We could do this on the on the Cherokee. Look at this rack. <laughs> so nice. Well, guys, we're gonna head back. Um, we got a chance to see some cool people. I didn't actually get a chance to talk to Kevin or uh, Clay today, but we did get a hat from them and uh, talk to some of the other crew members, so that was kind of cool. But that's always the thing, you know, if you want to see somebody, there's there's usually always somebody talking to them, so it's kind of hard to catch them, you know. Um, but it's a really cool experience here. This is an awesome place. It'd probably be a little bit warmer would be kind of nice. I think that's really what's, what's kind of driving us away. It's just it's so cold. Um, but it's a pretty pretty laid back place. I don't know, we may, we may camp here next year. We're still kind of undecided. Um, saw a lot of those trailers were just amazing, but they're very expensive. I mean, you're talking twenty, thirty thousand $30,000 for a off-road trailer. So that's kind of out of my price range at the moment. I don't think I want to go that far with it. So looks like we're gonna stick with a rooftop tent for now. Um, but anyway, guys, if you like what you see, be sure and subscribe and uh, go check out some of our older videos. I've had plenty of little adventures here lately, so uh, you know, we've got some more content coming. Still in the middle of moving into a uh, house, you know, moving out of a condo, moving into a house, so we got uh, some new stuff coming to the channel for sure. But if you're wondering why I've been away, that is why. We're still in the process of moving, so probably about a month out, but uh, once we're all the way moved, We'll be back full time doing car stuff and truck stuff and everything else. So anyway, guys, I'm out.
what you want.